subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, welcome to Test Prep Training. In this video you will learn about some commonly asked questions in CCNP security. So let's get started. Question number 1, which functions of an SDN architecture require southbound APIs to enable communication? Your options are A. SDN controller and the network elements B. Management console and the SDN controller C. Management console and the cloud D. SDN controller and the cloud The correct answer is, option A. Question number 2 which two request methods of REST API are valid on the Cisco AESA platform? Choose two. Your options are A put, B options, C get, D push, E connect. The correct answers are option A and C. Question number three. The main function of northbound APIs in the SDN architecture is to enable communication between which two areas of a network? Your options are A. SDN controller and the cloud B. Management console and the SDN controller C. Management console and the cloud D. SDN controller and the management solution The correct answer is, option D. Question number 4. What is a feature of the open platform capabilities of Cisco DNA Center? Your options are A. Application adapters B. Domain integration C. Intent-based APIs D. Automation adapters The correct answer is, option C. Question number 5, which form of attack is launched using botnets? Your options are A. TCP flood B. DDoS C. DOS D. Virus The correct answer is, option B. Question number 6, in which form of attack is alternate encoding, such as hexadecimal representation, most often observed? Your options are, A. Smurf B. Distributed denial of service C. Cross-site scripting D. Root could exploit The correct answer is, option C. Question number 7. Which flaw does an attacker leverage when exploiting SQL injection vulnerabilities? Your options are A. User input validation in a web page or web application B. Linux and Windows operating systems C. Database D. Web page images The correct answer is, option C. Question number 8. What is the difference between deceptive phishing and spear phishing? Your options are a. Deceptive phishing is an attack aimed at a specific user in the organization who holds a C-level role. B. A spear phishing campaign is aimed at a specific person versus a group of people. C. Spear phishing is when the attack is aimed at the C-level executives of an organization. D. Deceptive phishing hijacks and manipulates the DNS server of the victim and redirects the user to a false web page. The correct answer is, option B. Question number 9. Which two behavioral patterns characterize a ping of death attack? Choose two. Your options are A. The attack is fragmented into groups of 16 octets before transmission. B. The attack is fragmented into groups of 8 octets before transmission. C. Short synchronized bursts of traffic are used to disrupt TCP connections. D. Malformed packets are used to crash systems. E. Publicly accessible DNS servers are typically used to execute the attack. The correct answers are, option B, and D. Question number 10, which two mechanisms are used to control phishing attacks? Choose two. Your options are, A. Enable browser alerts for fraudulent websites. B. Define security group memberships. C. Revoke expired CRL of the websites. D. Use anti-spyware software. E. Implement email filtering techniques. The correct answer is, option A. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel, 